here in my garage. Just been working on these two Triumph TR7s. They're gonna be really fun to drive around these country roads. But you know what I love more than cars? Knowledge. I've been doing a lot of reading about the energy crisis and how our conventional means of getting energy are actually quite counterproductive. Solar power and wind turbines, they only work under certain conditions. Fossil fuels and hydroelectric dams, they actually damage the environment. And nuclear fusion and geothermal energy, they're way too expensive for one. And secondly, they're actually quite dangerous. So I've been thinking maybe there's some other way of getting energy, maybe from magnets or kinetic energy. I thought maybe I could fuse them into one new power source. I'm calling it kinetoelectromagnetic energy. I've been working on this device that's going to have nearly limitless potential for use in powering household electronics. It harnesses the power of visible light from the electromagnetic spectrum without any of the harmful emissions caused by like x-rays or uv rays or gamma rays, stuff like that. I'm calling it the NRG4L. That's non-radioactive generator. The 4 is because it's my fourth attempt and the L stands for light because, well, because it's lighter than the first one I built. I mean, the first one couldn't even fit in the trunk of that car. So it's the energy 4 l Let me show you how it works. All right, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is make sure that the stabilizers are on. Oh, they're good. Now, I'm just gonna crank this all the way to nine and see what this baby can do. Yep. Well, that's just nice, I forgot to check the breakers before I started. That's okay, it gives me time to explain how I got this idea in the first place. The idea literally fell in my lap one day while I was reading my book on a lawn chair in the backyard. A piece of space debris landed like right next to me. I looked at it and it was vibrating. And so I stood a little closer and my shadow crossed over it and it stopped vibrating. I moved aside and it started vibrating again once the sun hit it. So I figured it must somehow be using the power of visible light to generate these vibrations, these kinetic energy. I'm guessing the electromagnetic waves have something to do with it. Anyway, I was able to, oh, the lights are back on. I was able to actually harness this power and put it into this device, which, aha, uh -huh, it is actually working right now. Let me just show you a thing or two about how it works. This electromagnet over here powers up that light bulb. That light bulb then reflects off all those mirrors and hits the reactor from all sides. The kinetic vibrations are then harnessed as an electric pulse, which is run through this generator here and stored in this cell. A portion of that power runs back into the electromagnet to charge it to make sure that the light bulb stays on. So as you can see, it's actually quite complicated, but I was able to reverse engineer that piece of space debris, which I'm not sure if it was alien or just a satellite or what, but I'm able to reproduce it now on a massive scale. So I'm ready to go into mass production, full scale. And that's where you can help me. If you go and donate on my Kickstarter, you can donate at money and then you'll get the device early before it even is released in stores. So if you go there now, you'll be able to get this free energy into every house in America. NRG 4L, free energy for all.